Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. The one game that Jack Black says is not a game. <gasps> little tree! It's a little tree, guys. It'll be. Alright. Looks like we got a Bill Williamson thing to do. It's been how many days since the last one? I don't know, I'll put it up. Well, I'll put in the description. Whatever I feel like doing. I don't know if that's picking up some turn at all. It's cold out here, boy. See, look. Even Javier's got to be next to some fire. Stay alert there, Javier. Hello. That's a nice carbine repeater you got there, Javier. Crap. Oh, you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around wait for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators. Here, Colm always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train. Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. You're Mr. Old? Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscoll's about? Yeah! I don't know. I think looking after the place is starting to sound a lot Southwest, better. right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. You mean we can find people? Hey! Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. 
Wait, so you came with brother Ross. and you didn't think you, something bad would happen to you? Alright, come on, man. You got to you that smoke? That. Let's cut up here and take a look. The smoke? They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Oh, no, nice. Gentlemen, this is it. Are we goddamn ready? No. Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Dutch, I'm getting snow in my boots. My toes are cold. I don't like it. I think my socks are going to get wet after this. Nobody likes cold, nobody likes cold wet socks and cold wet feet. Like, that, that sucks. Both of those combinations suck. See people, Dutch. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. That's yeah, dead. that's him. Cool. I think Colm needs a comb to comb his hair. Looking kind of mad from up here. Wait, isn't that the? We know that guy. That's Kieran. That's Kieran Duffy. Because no one Who's else he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. That's definitely and much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. In the carbine repeater you gave me. You two, get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? No. Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal. And wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Don't we kill like hundreds of thousands of them anyways? Like later on? Seems like he has all of America on his side and we're just 20 people. Seems like we pulled off the impossible every single time. And you know what Calm gets to do? Pull off the more of the impossible y'all with Merrick on his side. Now, he could take over at this point. All he has to do is surround our camp and start shooting from all angles and we're done. Try to see that plan that out. It's steep here. Careful. It's steep, then let me jump off the side. Oh, okay, I did not actually do that, first of all. We need some food. I'm okay, Dutch. That just slightly hurt. I need a rest. I don't even... Is this even a spot we can get to? Hold up. 
Guys, I found a secret spot. I don't even know how. Oh, actually, I do know how to spell. Yeah, let's let's get some full health going on here. You can be up a Dutch. Okay, Arthur, can you not jump? Uh, Someone took your tobacco. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, okay. Looks like we're going back. We're gonna retry the check. Alright. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. All the way back up here. Come on. Oh, why is it back up here? Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. You got it, Dutch. Lenny, I believe in you, because Lenny! Right. Come on, let's go. Let go over this way. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. I don't want to have this conversation again, Dutch. Sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Maybe you Our needs help. right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal. And wait. Okay. The way out. I know There's that game. Just bastards down there to deal no, with as it is. Now come on. This little piggy went to the market. Those little piggies stayed home. One of those piggies had roast beef. Another one didn't have a... And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home, even though I can't no more. Oh. I, I sure did feel like uh, taking a shot or something. Oh, watch out. It's a bit steep. I know it's deep. You should have seen what happened earlier. I kind of died and somehow came back alive. I, I'm a time traveler, apparently. I go back in time every time I die. You know, that's one thing I haven't heard of is a game that once your character dies, you have to go back in and create a new one. I know some games have that, like Minecraft Terrain with the hardcore mode. Maybe I should take the lead on this. But not They're going like to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Yeah, this game runs off of now, a luck system. The more, the more good things you do, the higher your luck will be. The more bad things you do, the lower your luck will be. But I haven't done the bad path yet. I've always done good, so we're going to do the bad path. This time. From the day I was born. Stay low. Come on, follow me. Dutch, quiet down, they can hear you. Okay. Let's get in cover. Ready for this job to be done? So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. I got you. Okay. I'll go first. Got everything we need. Yeah. Oh, Drish, You're dead, you sons of bitches! You don't know! There's one up on the water tower! Not anymore! Okay, I can't. We're dead. Hold up. Last night's got another one up with
already felt that one. You. Oh, looks like he had dollar and twenty five cents. Of course not. Uh, Cole doesn't give a damn about right right now. Now. I don't man. that kind of money. All he cares about is numbers. If you could shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Cole doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Boys, we got more coming in from the forest. Yeah, that's too bad. They think they didn't take us all along. We're a small army. I think I got him in the butt. Don't worry. You're gonna die. You yellow belly bastard. Shit, there's a lot of them. What do you think, Arthur? Do we hold ground here, but go at them? I say we go at them. I say we go at the bastards. Come on, man. Come on with me. There must be more. We're in the forest. Let's go. Guys, trust me. My aim is normally not this good. All right, who's next? There's a guy up here. Hold up. A medic. Oh, never mind. A medic down. No, you're dead. The cowards are running away. Good work, boys. That's that is officially the first time I've done that mission without dying. Yeah. Let me check this house right here. We're waiting on you, Arthur. I'm already up here, Dutch. Okay. Let's wait for Javier and Lenny. They're coming down with the horses. Keep an eye out for any more of the bastards. Good work, boys. Yeah. Arthur can't Man, decide what he wants to say. Bill, you go search that wagon there. What? Search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. There, uh, I know where they are. They're in this building, so here, let me just take this. Take this. I found the tobacco that guy was looking for. Take some crackers. What do we got here? Perfect. The plans. Ooh, another cigar. I'll take that. I also have to take the whiskey. You know, just whiskey. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. You mean dynamite has a certain smell? Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was going to rob. A uh, Mr. Leviticus, Leviticus Cornwall. Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's Does keep moving. a monopoly upon trains and stuff? All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work. Bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's good. Yeah, like are. I did. I went back in time and came back Outlaws to life. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, Charles, and Sean back riding with us. And I believe, I know, they will all be back. 
Well, you didn't get cold, but this hit will hurt him a lot more than anyone. Dutch, ride day. properly. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Don't copyright me. Don't copyright me. Hey, da, da, da. You see that fella? Was he at the camp with Cone? Leave him to me. Oh. I you, don't worry. Right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. I got you, don't ah. worry. Come here, boy. Yeah. What's your face. name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Karen. Karen what? Duffy. Karen Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Karen Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Something you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. You know, we're, we're gonna threaten your balls. Get where I used to be yelled at you, Frank. I hardly know him. I hit you. Oh, I can't. I hit your side, though. That night. Please, mister. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two, two bones, bones right there. Oh, Here we are. Boys. You sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Boy. Shit, did you? Yep. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. Man, you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot, fellas. Is need shooting? Save, fellas. Is need saving, and feed him. Is need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll, Mister. I, I hate that fella. 
Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. If you made it this far, congratulations. You are beyond people who don't watch these things for me. Some people just watch it for like 30 seconds and say, eh, I'm done. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Sounds like Igor. Igor? I, forgot well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? Oh yeah. Yeah. And you'll pay me. For the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to go? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Well, Abigail. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now... Suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway like man, sugar dealer, him, oil man. Well, how good for him. Out. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. <laughs> Everyone ready? Alright, let's head out! Well, I gotta get, get to my reserve spot, which is right behind me. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer that run point. Lenny and Javier? You take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Hey, have you got a problem with that? Everything. Uh, you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're going to need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Crystal, now, come good. on. Let's ride. Yeah. Well, I see a little base up in the mountains. Is that where we go fight Mike at the end of the game?
get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? Sure, this is what I call the proof. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes short. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. Well, I so think we do this. We got mistakes right there. Back to to what are you doing? Then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Mackin? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. I can't Come on. Look, 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 look. I There's a water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. I see Bill. Is Bill there? No. Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Let's send Mike down. I'm sure that'd be a much better idea if anything goes if anything goes wrong. He blows up. Look at he looks like a rat. Looks like a rat that lives up in your hat. He tries to make you do better than him now, but he's failing at it. He's the opposite of Rem Remy from Ratitude. <laughs> Spamming How you getting on? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. You know, Arthur, you sound like a little kid when you ask him, can I help a little? Okay, this is good. All right, that should do. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Got you. Don't worry. Have to say, I'm rather looking forward. Just be ready to move quick. Remember the plan. Okay, All I'm out of stamina. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I of course, think so. I okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. It says weapon with all thickets. Rock me, mama, like a wagon. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Gentlemen, it's time. <laughs> Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Better hit the bluey. No, kablooey. Shit, no! What? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Where did you find that? More who said it was fine. It's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Come on, boys. Don't you go far right from me. I'll be sad. Don't you see? Here we go. Here we go. I'm here. I'm here. Got the poncho. 
I got you. Don't worry, Bring lady. Bring it down here. I got you. Now stop yelling. Arthur, help me. Uh, get up here. Yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He didn't make it. He fell. The others will get him. I think Girl, he's missing a head. Stop this train. God dang it, we made a ride. How many you think? got hit with a bullet barrage. It was bullet after bullet after bullet. Look out! Got more coming up. Train. He's dead. There better be some money at the end of this. Ah. He's dead. All these bastards must be guards up. Some fellas holed up in this last car. Yes, yes. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We asked for opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Coming out. Get away in here. That's enough. 
Mr. Williams, can you give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite? You two boys go blow that door open. Okay. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. It's much better if you just shoot it instead of lighting it. Search that train. I don't care about everyone else. <laughs> Climb forward. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be oh, easy as train. cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Yeah, I ain't gonna read the list. Okay, let's see if we can get this open. All right. Getting there. how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. <laughs> Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices. Blah, blah, blah. You got no, anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some... Fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat. Think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm full on cigars. Dang it. I wanted another cigar. Come on, man. What did you find? These 20 bucks and bearer bonds. Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we could probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at you know camp. I think, I think when you get back, going. we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Same can't be said for the train. The train's gonna be bye-bye. On the road again. I can't wait to send this train off the edge. Don't you go copywriting me. I'm only singing there's a beat behind me. Honolulu.
some hoodie. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm back. I sent that train on this happy so go lucky journey. So we're getting out of this hell We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. That sounds like me in real life, too. Kid, you can buy me a whiskey. You try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You oh, still really strong I'll enough use. to hold up a leg? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. I did. I got to bash it in. Oh. Nearly there. Uh. There we go. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Us. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, <clears throat> get in. You know, think about tell American you. history. We were pushing them off their land so we could have it. <sighs> And then we push them further. Too far now. Further. Stay on this further. trail. Now. We'll follow the river, then cut left. We just took all the land they could they have. So, for our yes. Benefit. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how is that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. 
Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey! Hey! Don't blame it on me! Exactly. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. He left for a year, and I never did. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, Working girls, our kind of place. Driscolls? Probably them too. Anchortons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, Plus maybe it's me who's changed, not that. him. But we yeah, kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got a ride a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Isn't that nice of you, Jose? Going. Particularly slow because there's a chance they're not missing, but it's always in the midst of the space. That cutscene always confuses me. Why do we have a cutscene for that? Jump 
Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. It is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I am going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury? Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I, I know just that things have been tough, says it's legal, but, but we are safe the now, and we are far too he's not keeping up his end. He's So it is time things. for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find, Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time. For everyone to earn their keep. There's a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now, the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Mr. Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Made it to chapter two. The fake chapter was whole game. I don't care about any other chapter but this one. Where sure the fun really begins. country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. Up His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Hi there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. 
And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> you go read that book. Okay, so we got Reverend over that way, Uncle over that oh, way. Arthur, my boy, my dear boy. Oh, that way. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. I've been with you and Jose since day one. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Good day it is indeed. Let's just go explore for a minute. Cross and bring back some food. Grab this. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. We're going to grab some food for the camp. Ignore the noise in the background, please. Oh, poor thing. Poor thing. Come here. Come here. Okay. Mm. Was that me? What? Come on. Oh. Hold still now. I need to focus. Mm. Lord have mercy. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you with your horse? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's always funny. Back to the camp. Not bad, boy. Here we go. Yeah. Pearson encouraged me to go get some food, so I'm bringing food. <laughs> It hurt enough. Boy. Yep. All right, guys, I'm back. Can I do something with the, with the horse? Who's more important than medicine? That's how you get off the horse. Uh, 
Okay, whatever's going on with Molly and Dutch does not sound friendly. Ah, that was a quick trip. Yeah, it was. It'll be delicious, too. Sup, John? You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Good job, Morgan. Don't worry, I will. It can tribute real quick. Give it out of the, um, uh, we'll give the most. We'll give them the most expensive down here. There you go. Crap. That was good. Oh, she's going to be you got the much more brave than you think. Trust me on this. Oh, you're back. I hardly left. Good morning, Arthur. Brought back food. That was it. No, I swear that, that my tent could have been over there. That's what it feels like it should be. Let's shave. Peace. <laughs>